Do you have a firewall in your network yet? If you don't, you will. It's really only a question of when. Will you put it in before you have a problem, or will you put it in after you have a problem? Hopefully you'll choose to put it in before you have a problem. My name is Mark Rice. I'm of Cutter Networks, and I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about firewalls, and specifically we're going to take a look at one in particular. We're going to look at a member of the Barracuda F-Series, uh, the F380. We'll look at one fairly closely in just a few minutes. A firewall typically will do many standard things. They do network address translation. Most of them will protect against denial of service, attacks, and, and other things that are pretty standard in firewalls. You know, one of the, But beyond that, you want to try to get some extra bang for your buck. As long as you're going to protect against that, you might as well go ahead and take it to the next step and be able to protect against things such as WAN failure. And with a Barracuda F-Series F380 in particular, you could have, for example, we could have uh, two buildings that are connected by two 1 gig WAN links. And if those are through going through, if we have a uh, F380 at each side, we can literally load balance between those two WAN links. And in the event of a failure, it provides failover protection so that the data that was traveling on one link will now pass to the other link. Uh, so it gives you not only the advantages of a firewall, and we'll look at some of the specific features in just a second, but it also gives you failover protection and load balancing. These are extra benefits just thrown in with that firewall capability. Let's take a look at the firewall. Here we have an exciting little product. This is a Barracuda F380 firewall. It's a nice solid metal enclosure. It's a 1U high unit. On the right hand side of the unit, there are just two LEDs. There's an LED to indicate power and an LED to indicate whether or not the solid state storage is currently recording data. Uh, there are eight gigabit copper ports across the front, a gigabit ethernet, and there are two USB ports, a console port, and to the left of that, we have an LCD display and a few buttons that control that display. Uh, these are used to obtain certain information and perform certain commands directly into the appliance. Most of your uh, regular management, however, and monitoring that type of thing will be done either through the console or port one. When you unpack your F380, you'll find a bag that contains several accessories. You'll have a quick start guide, which is, of course, very useful for, as the name would imply, set it up. Uh, here is the USB that contains the software that will be used to manage the unit. It, of course, comes with a power cable. Um, it has some e uh, handles that are used to remove it from a rack. Makes it very easy to get a hold of. You have four little rubber feet that are used if you're going to put it on a desktop instead. You have a serial cable. This serial cable uh, will allow you to connect the serial port of your PC for initially setting it up. And then there's just a standard Ethernet cable in here as well. All of this you'll find in a little bag that comes with the unit. Let's talk about some of the firewall features of the Barracuda F380. Some of the features include stateful packet inspection and forwarding, full user identity awareness, intrusion detection prevention system, application control and granular application in enforcement, interception and decryption of SSL, TLS encrypted applications, antivirus and web filtering in a single pass mode, safe search enforcement, Google accounts enforcement, denial of service protection, spoofing and flooding protection, ARP spoofing and thrashing protection, DNS reputation filtering, TCP stream reassembly, transparent proxying, network address translation, dynamic rules and timer triggers, single object-oriented rule set for routing, bridging, and routed bridging. When we talk about VPN capabilities of the F380, it includes such things as drag, drag and drop uh, VPN tunnel configuration, secure site-to-site, -site, client-to-site VPN, dynamic mesh site-to-site -site VPNs, support for AES-128 and 256 triple DES and DES encryptions, uh, private CA or external PKI, this product is VPNC certified, application aware traffic routing, is IPSEC VPN, SSL VPN, 
uh, TINA, VPN, L2TP, and PPTP. Network address control, iOS and Android mobile device VPN support. When we look at the features of traffic optimization of the F380, it includes such things as link monitoring, aggregation and failover, dynamic routing, application-based provider selection, traffic shaping and QoS, on-the-fly flow reprioritization, stream and packet compression, byte-level data deduplication, protocol optimization. When it comes to advanced threat protection, Include such things as dynamic on-demand analysis of malware programs, dynamic analysis of documents with embedded exploits in PDFs or Office, etc., detailed forensics for both malware binaries and web threats, support for multiple operating systems, Windows, Android, etc., botnet and spyware protection, flex flexible malware analysis in the cloud. Note, some of the features discussed and or listed in this video are options that require additional subscriptions and or licensing. They may not be included in the base product. Well, as you can see, the F380 is a powerful little product. There's a, just one of the family of F-Series in the Barracuda product line. I hope that when you're in the market for a firewall, you'll contact us here at Cutter Networks and let us help you select the correct unit for your needs. And uh, my name is Mark Rice again, and I look forward to speaking with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time.